I'm going to call this meeting this, it's a public hearing actually, it's not a meeting. The select board and the citizens of Hardwick, um, the chair of the select board is not here, the vice chair of the select board is not here, and I drew the short straw. Um, so I'm going to run this meeting insofar as I am capable. Um, I want to make a couple points up front, which is that this is a public hearing. We are here to hear what you, the public, have to say on the two issues that are before us this evening. We will make no decisions. We will have no votes. This is just for us to hear what you have to say on that. Um, so the first one, starting now, has to do with the The law says, the, the ordinance says that we can, that we're supposed to, we have two choices about this. We can read the entire proposed ordinance or modification of the ordinance, or we can read it by title. And I think none of us has enough time this evening to listen to me read this whole thing. So I'm just going to say that, that this is a public hearing to discuss the amendment having to do with the roots of the all-terrain vehicle ordinance. Um, has, has anybody, has everybody seen it who is interested in it? The all-terrain vehicle ordinance that we're trying to, that, that there's been a request that we, we modify. <clears throat> Sean, have you got a map? Yeah. Okay. And I can offer, if it would help, I can offer a description. Yes. Would that be? Yes, like please. Yeah, hold on. We'll get powered up here, folks. I'm just curious. We have two ordinances tonight. Um, do people mind just raising your hand if you're here for the ATV one, just so we know if, if anybody's here for the ATV ordinance? So everybody's, you're here for the ATV ordinance? I'm here for both. For both. Okay. 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 Okay, so uh, we're getting up to speed here on the image. And we did post the, uh, so everybody is advised, uh, we do have a hard copy of this if you want to follow along on this, uh, on the ATV uh, proposed changes. We also have this on the town website as well, so everybody is aware. And uh, we did discuss at length at the May 2nd select board meeting, so uh, there will be information about this in the May 2nd select board meeting as well. The changes that are being proposed are on page two of the ordinance, which is under uh, section four, and uh, it's basically the section that describes where the access is allowed and in the modifications where access would be allowed. So, uh, do we have a laser pointer on this? Okay, so oh, we did right there. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait, it's going to do this. So the, uh, the first set of changes, just bear with me, folks, are uh, this area where I've got the double pointer uh, now is basically South Main Street. Um, and uh, right there is where uh, Mapville Road uh, effectively would intersect uh, South Main. So uh, where the pointer is now on the left line, uh, that would be uh, Marshall Street. So uh, the meat and potatoes are this. The, the first adjustment would be that Marshall Street, as shown in yellow now, is going to be removed as a travel way. And then uh, if you allow me to move the cursor, just this small section uh, that I'm in the area now, basically leading up to 144 Mackville Road, which is approximately where the pointer is at this time. Anything in yellow, again, is being eliminated in the proposed change. The new route, if you will, is, uh, it's hard to see with the coloring here, but there is a blue line um, that is following along now on Macville. So uh, that's gonna be where uh, the route would run at this time. Anything in red is existing. Just be aware of that and currently uh, approved uh, by the ATV ordinance. Uh, so that's the, uh, those are the, uh, what it looks like in that part of town. 
The other change, if you allow me to just scroll, is um, over here on Cape Brook Firm. The way it's listed in the ordinance now, we have an address that we travel to, which is, uh, bear with me, 655 Cape Brook Road. The proposal is that we run from Vermont Route 15. Again, red is already established, so the point would be about here. And we would then follow Cape Brook. Green in this instance is an addition. So just bear with me if I can figure this pointer out here. We'd run to the, uh, the intent is that we would run to the uh, Woodbury town line, which is at this location right here. So that's the graphical presentation. Um, there are, uh, on, uh, in that same section, uh, there is some uh, adjustments on the speed limits and making sure that for um, Mapville, uh, Cary Road to Vermont Fort, uh, 14 to the Hard Hardwick Woodbury Trail, Sawmill Lane, um, those locations I just mentioned would be a 15 mile per hour speed and the only change there is that Sawmill Lane is now included in the 15 mile zone and prior it would have been a 25. So everything uh, that I'm going to read now beyond the maximum speed would be 25 miles an hour. So it would be Buffalo Mountain Trail from 14 to Woodbury Line, Wright Farm Road to Buffalo Mountain Trail, Scott Road to Nichols Pond Road, Dutton Road from Nichols Pond to Brown Farm, Dusty Swamp Road to Walden Town Line. It's effectively, using the graphic, if you see it in red, and, and I didn't say that it was a 15, it's going to become a 25. So those are effectively the changes that we're looking at. Um, the other thing that we did do a modification on, and this came off uh, the same meeting, May 2nd, uh, we, we, we had to get some clarification following the May 2nd meeting from the town's attorney. When we go through an ordinance adjustment, what we're obligated to do as a community is follow the charter language, not the state statutes. The charter language specifically states and this is why we're doing what we're doing tonight for both the ATV ordinance amendment as well as taking some commentary on the parklet ordinance. We have to go to public hearing phase, hence why we're at this point. As the chair uh, said this evening, it's a matter of just getting some input from folks. So that's the narrative. Are there any questions? Comments? Larry? Well, I, the only thing I have to say about this is uh, uh, I'm all for it. Uh, expanding, if we're expanding the, uh, the trails for the ATVs, we've got snowmobile trails that traverse the, the state and, and all of New England. Um, I go to an event up in Canaan. If you've ever been to Canaan, Canaan's not really a town, it's an area. You know, there's not, there might be a town, I don't know, I've never seen it. But you go right over the border into Stewartstown, New Hampshire. And in the late fall, that whole town's locked. All the restaurants are full, the gas stations, everything else, and it's people riding ATVs right in the middle of town. So, you know, discouraging tourism in the tar town of Hardwick is, is not a good thing. So I'm in favor of the expansion of the trails. Uh, um, send them up my road. <laughs> uh, um, you know, I mean, they have to, uh, you know, they, I'm, I'm sure they have to have lights and... and Helmets and speed limits. Mm -hmm. uh, let them go. Okay. Other comments? Questions? Well, we could sit here and sure. stare at each other for five minutes, or I could declare this public hearing closed. Um, and we're going to have, <clears throat> excuse me, sit here and stare at each other for five minutes because. We warned the second meeting for 615, and therefore I feel a certain civic obligation to wait until 615 to open that meeting. I'm going to call this public hearing to order. Uh, the chair of the select board is not here. The vice chair of the select board is not here, and as I said earlier, I got the short straw. I'm Elizabeth Dow, I'm a member of the select board, and I'd like to say a couple of things before we get this public hearing really going. This is a public hearing. This is just a place for the select board to hear the comments from the public 
about the issue of establishing an ordinance permitting parklets in Hardwick. I also emphasize that this is a discussion about an ordinance. This is about an idea, about a concept. This is not about any particular installation. This is, generally speaking, is this a good idea, not is, do we want this to be here or that to be there. Under the ordinance, if it passes, everybody who wants to put in a parklet must apply individually for that purpose. This is not about any particular installation. This is about the concept. Um, just for the sake of, it's a nice evening and we all have gardens to go back and finish planting. Uh, so when you, if you want to speak, please state your name. If you agree with something that someone has said, it's not necessarily really to repeat it in full, just say, I agree with, with so-and-so. Um, if you have spoken, please wait until everybody else has spoken before you speak a second time. Um, and with that, I will say, this is a public hearing about the parklet ordinance for the town of Hardwick. Does anybody have any questions? Does anybody have any comments? Well, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. I'm Catherine Ingram from East Hardwick. And I had a question um, with section four where it says the select board may allow parklets covering up to four parking spaces in total. No single parklet will exceed two parking spaces. So with those two sentences, what does it mean parklets covering four parking spaces in total. Is that like in one section? The way I read this, How do you read that? we can have four parklets of one parking space each. We can have two parklets of two parking spaces each. We can have three parklets, one with two parking spaces, two with one parking space. You can't take up more than four parking spaces with parklets. So in total in the total. whole town? In total. Yeah. OK. Thank you. Other questions? Comments? Larry. Well, I'll be brief. My name's Larry Hamill. I live in East Hardwick. I have businesses in downtown Hardwick. Uh, the Hardwick Inn, there's 18 different businesses. And uh, the 1874 building, there's three. They're all right on South Main Street. Um, I've weighed in on this uh, in the past select board meeting. My opinion has not changed. I've talked to a lot of the neighbors down there, including the groceries right next door. They're not in favor of this idea. They were not able to be here tonight, but they asked me to speak for them. Um, and my opinion has not changed. I am not in favor of this in, uh, in any, any way, shape, and form. Okay. Other comments? Can I go? Yes, ma'am. Um, my name is Christina Mickelson, and um, I would just like to sort of um, build on what you have said, that this is a draft ordinance. Um, it is not for any particular project. And what this ordinance actually does, at, so right now, basically, the town can approve a parklet if it wants. It just doesn't have a process to do so. Mm -hmm. And the townspeople or the businesses who might want to ask the town for a parklet have no guidance as to what the town would require. Uh, it would just, it could lead to sort of some chaotic and unfair decision making where one influential some, somebody can get a parklet because they know a few people on the board and somebody else can't because there aren't measurable criteria for the town to review when approving or disapproving, disapproving um, a proposed parklet. So I think that's important to know that what this does is creates a process. It does not necessarily create four parklets every season. Um, the other thing I do want to just comment on is the uh, what they bring to a downtown environment. I mean, we've all, I think, walked around in Montpelier in the summer and experienced sort of the, the festive feel of the parklets that they have permitted. Um, and that it really, I, I think it does show a vibrant downtown. Um, it makes the downtown inviting. So I think that's a positive thing for our outdoor space um, in the summer season. And, and the other aspect of this ordinance, which I think is helpful, is that 
when a parklet is created, it is open to the public when the particular business who created that uh, parklet is not open. So if we use as an example, the Chinese restaurant had a parklet, but they were closed during the day and didn't open till seven, that parklet could be used by co-op cafe customers, Connie's Kitchen customers to sit and have a coffee or have, have a meal, which I think is a nice feature of this particular ordinance. It requires the owner of that space to share um, with the public. So those are my comments. Okay. Thank you. Other comments? Yeah, I wanted to make a comment just about the parklets in general and the different things that different communities do in their downtowns trying to keep them vibrant and, and um, moving ahead, if you will. Um, we all know in the North Country the short seasons in the summertime and communities do all that they can, businesses do all that they can to try and attract customers to downtown. And this is simply another tool, I think, for businesses to be able to do that, um, and probably a good one. Uh, there are lots of other things happening around people trying to be as innovative as possible, and I think by allowing that innovation to occur with parameters, as we just heard, um, is really a step in the right direction to, to bring more people downtown and tourists, whether it's allowing ATVs or anything like that. You know, it's all going to it's all going to add up to uh, uh, more better businesses downtown and more things happening in the community. Thank you. You're Other comments? Yes? Joe Brochu, Hardwick. Um, I agree. I think the town and the select board uh, draft the ordinance, and the, the town and select board have the option to approve or disapprove um, in whatever boundaries and time frames. You know, maybe it's not every day of the week, maybe it's certain days of the week, maybe it's certain hours. You know, to me, it sounds similar to this, the first Friday celebration that we used to do for a couple of summers. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, I'm not up on the town ordinances, but whether or not there was some sort of ordinance that allowed that to occur. But we we're doing the same thing. People are using parking spaces and parking lots and different parts of the town, you know, every Friday of certain months to sell food, to provide entertainment. And everybody seemed to be okay with that. So in my eyes, it's a very similar thing. Um, and if it brings people to town or gets them to stop while they're passing through, that's a good thing for everybody in town. Thank you. Other comments? Questions? Thank you for coming. It would appear that the public has spoken, we have heard, and uh, we will take this back to the select board and make a decision on this. Um, but I think this public hearing has come to a conclusion. Motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you for coming. <laughs>